It's dark, cloudy. I can barely see my hand in front of my face. Where am I? 20 to 30 years in the future, enjoying the coral reefs, or it used to be of them. This is a reoccurring nightmare that I have, that if we keep overfishing and destroying the oceans, we won't have a beautiful ocean for us to explore and enjoy in the future. Now let me take you back to when I was 13 years old, and we took a trip to the British Virgin Islands. One day while snorkeling, we came upon an octopus. Me and my brother were super intrigued, but since it was early in the day, it wasn't very active, and we decided to come back later that night. That was our mistake. Later that night, about 10 minutes into snorkeling, it became pitch black. We could only see what a small beam of light that was in front of us. I decided to do a little 180 to see what was around us. When I turned to my left, boom, there it was, a giant bull shark right next to me. I do a flying fish act into the dinghy, screaming, shark, shark, shark. As glad as I am that me and my brother both got with all of our limbs, I'd be sad if, I wouldn't, if my children wouldn't be able to tell stories like this because of overfishing. Overfishing has been a problem to resolve for decades. Unsustainable fishing acts for the past 50 years have pushed fish stocks to a point of collapse. Top predators such as the Atlantic bluefin tuna and groupers are most notable. Declining numbers of these populations threatens our survival as a species. Perhaps greater efforts to educate these offending communities is the potential answer. For many cases, these fishing communities have been fishing for generations. I hope they would want to take action to ensure that ch their children and future generations would have the opportunity to fish. Fishmen, fishmen from numerous nations are responsible for the problem. They are typically motivated by the desire to maximize profitability. Once overfished, the fishermen's ability to earn a living is also harmed, causing social and economic disasters in the fishing community, as well as damaging life in the oceans. It is evident to me that declining these major fish populations threatens the surrounding environment in numerous ways. Sharks and other large predators that would typically feed off these fish are losing their source of food. Smaller fish populations are becoming too abundant, further throwing the delicate ecosystem out of balance. Action must be taken now before the damage is irreversible. The gravity of the situation is immense. Millions of people rely on fish and creatures from the sea for food. Bill Fox, vice president of World Wildlife Foundation, recently stated, seafood is one of the healthiest sources of protein, but the industry poses a significant threat on our environment. We're working with partners in the industry to help them reduce their environmental footprint for the sake of their future and ours. While Mr. Fox's organization is a step in the right direction, I feel its overall impact is insignificant given to me given the scope of the situation. Did you know that of the world's fisheries, 80% are overfished? I would like to see better tracking of fish populations. It seems fishermen know where to find the fish, and if this is the case, authorities responsible for protecting the fish can know as well. And, I, and while I realize that funding enforcement can be a problem, I feel solutions can be found. For example, certain fisheries can be found are abundant and can be found at a low price. By raising the price of these fish, we can help fund enforcement as well as help endangered species. The answer to the problem is threefold. One, better enforcement better enforcement of already existing rules, two, additional restrictions on overfishing, and three, immediate restoration to already damaged fisheries. Simply put, there are not enough restrictions on fishing. Of the world's oceans, only 2% are considered marine protected areas, but even in these places, rules are not always well enforced. As we can see, responsible parties, species at risk, and ways we can fix it are all good reasons why we need to stop doing it. We know where the problem is, we know what the problem is doing, and we know how to stop it. So hopefully my reoccurring nightmare won't have to be a nightmare for my kids or their kids. Hopefully their dreams will be full of coral reef and fish. Thank you.